Uh, very quickly, the Auburn situation. Auburn wins 34-24 to over Georgia State, and it, it was it was not that much of a blow. Like that, that point differential does not explain how close this game actually was. TJ Auburn Finley was trailing deep into the fourth quarter. Uh, so so Auburn was down twenty four to twelve at halftime, and they had given up. I mean, nearly two hundred yards rushing in the first half. Georgia State really was able to to do what they wanted to, and I, I TJ Finley comes in and replaces Bo Nix. Now I don't know if there was an injury. I don't know what what happened to cause this because it's not like it's not like Bo Nix was you know the worst quarterback in the world, but. 13 out of 27 for 156 yards, no touchdowns, no picks, would, would tell you differently. Finley comes in, 9 out of 16, 97 yards. He throws a touchdown pass. They get down to the goal line, and on 4th and 9, with 45 seconds left, I I think we actually have a quarterback competition now. We have a controversy in Auburn, because if you're Brian Harson, how do you not let T.J. Finley go into Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge this weekend and be the starter? Because Bo Nix, like, I, I I don't know what to make of him. Like, th- this might have been a, a sandwich spot, a look ahead for Auburn, because this Georgia State game was homecoming right in the middle of uh, Penn State last week and LSU this week. But Georgia State got demolished by North Carolina. They got demolished by Army. Like, Tank Bigsby had 18 carries for only 60 yards in this game. Like, this was such a strange game. What, what do you think about this Auburn quarterback situation? I think it's weird. I do think Finley's probably going to be the guy going into Baton Rouge this weekend. I'll tell you this. It sucks for a defense that hasn't been great at LSU to have to prepare for two quarterbacks, and two quarterbacks are pretty damn different. So, you know, that's not going to be fun. I think TJ is probably the better option, but that's because I can't get the three years of what I've seen out of Bo Nix out of my head. Yeah, I, I think at this point you have to – you have to roll with Finley until he gives you a reason to bench him because he did you, come back and win this game. Gonna, do you think they're going to roll with Finley? I think so. I think okay. Brian Harson just wants to try and win football games, and I don't know I that agree. you can do that. Uh, the Brown Yeti <laughs> said, don't blame Gus for Knicks. That is the lesson from this week. Yeah, because it, it, he had played well. Bo Nix had been playing well. He did not embarrass himself against Penn State. Like, no. That was, that was not on Bo Nix. He's not the reason they lost that game, not in any way, shape, form, or fashion. The first two games where they played little teams, they did what you're supposed to do. They beat the hell out of those little teams. Yes. that See, that's the thing is you are going to get this kind of a game from Bo Nix every now and then. You just are. You're, you're going to have some, some crazy performances that make him look like an all-world quarterback, and, and then you will have crazy interceptions that you don't see coming. He's going to do something stupid with the football, and and it's going to drive you insane as an Auburn fan. TJ Finley might be the he might be the steady hand in this race. So we'll see. I don't know. We we've got people arguing over Oklahoma and Oregon <laughs> in, the, in the chat today. Matt Miller talking about a game six years ago, uh, saying it's better to be an Oklahoma fan than an Oregon fan. <laughs> oh, Larry and Matt, you guys are hilarious. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.